All right, folks, we're at the Museum of Science in Boston, and we're here because we're going to take a Boston duck tour. Now, our good friend Jody Sloan, that comedian we love, is a conductor here, and she's going to take us on a ride. Now, I've brought the entire staff with me because we need a vacation. Here we are in Boston. It's the Boston Duck Tour. Let's go. <laughs> All right, folks, we're with today's conductor. She's comedian Jody Sloan. Jody, thanks for having us here. Thank you for coming. Let's talk a little bit about the Duck Tours. Maybe you know some history of the actual uh, company. What, what's this all about? Uh, well, our founder started the company back in 1994 after something of a soul search. He went around the country for, on, just on a trip and saw the Duck Tours in some other part of the country. I want to say Tennessee. And he had this idea that Boston would be the perfect city to have Duck Tours. Now, let me ask you, Jody, uh, what drew you to the Duck Tours? Why did you you want to be driving this thing. It's actually kind of a silly story and not many people believe me when I tell them this, but I actually saw my first amphibious vehicle when I was 13 years old and I was just dumbfounded by this vehicle and it was out of the water. It was strange looking as you can see. I asked my father, I said, what is that thing? And he told me, he said, that is an amphibious vehicle, a Coast Guard amphibious vehicle. And he explained how it goes on land and water. So I, I was thrilled at the time. I was 13 years old and I said to him, I looked at him dead seriously. I said, I'm going to drive one when I grow up. <laughs> All right, folks, it's our conductor, Jody Sloan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jody, 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 Jody. All right, so Jody, we did notice one thing here. When we got in the duck boat, there is writing up on the ceiling. What is that all about? There is. This is not uh, graffiti. This is about gratitude. This is uh, my way of honoring our veterans, our servicemen and servicewomen. If I have a serviceman or servicewoman on board, I have them sign the roof. That's great. Now, you know my dad is a World War II Purple Heart veteran. I did not know yeah. that. Dad, do you want to sign the roof? It's an okay. <laughs> well, look, she's got the Sharpie, Dad. She is. All right. Dad, don't forget to put your name and then the Steve Katzel Show and then the web address. <laughs> Thank God he wore his Depends. <laughs> Oh, All right, how about it, folks? Welcome to Boston Duck Tours. I am your driver, Pennywise. Welcome to my midlife crisis. <laughs> yeah. You're all invited. When I say, well, I do declare, you are to give me two quacks loud and proud. Do not disappoint me. We're going to try it right now. Two quack thing. You can do that, yeah. If your neighbor doesn't quack, give him a pinch for encouragement. You ready to try this? Well, I do declare. Quack, quack, quack. Solid. I've been working on my Boston accent. Do you want to hear it? Go ahead. Yeah, right, ready. Don't bother your father while he's in the backyard barbecuing. <laughs> <laughs> What's more important than talking like you're from Boston? Driving like you're it's from Boston. It's driving like you're from Boston. It will eat you alive. In we hope city. we have insurance here. Now, uh, here's a quiz for you. On the left, the Green Awnings, the Omni Parker House Hotel, the oldest continuously operated hotel in the United States, famous for their... Haunting. It is haunted. Holy. Speaking of haunted, look at Jim in his Batman mask. <laughs> Batman. I'm split right down the middle. <laughs> On the right, this is the Granary Bearing Ground. Buried here, three signers of the Declaration of Independence. John Hancock, Sam Adams, Robert T. Payne. Also buried here, James Otis. James Otis is the man who said... Yes, sir! <laughs> yes, sir! Ask her if she knows what voulez-vous means in French. Dad, Ooh. time for your medication. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Is it okay to say on camera? You know those French. Hey, Dad, there's a reason why Stacy didn't want to sit next to you. Why? Because you keep getting fresh. I'm not fresh. Okay, good. I'm old. <laughs> he is kind of old. Hey, but, but Jody is beautiful. All right, great. <laughs> All right. That never gets old. <laughs> Are you having fun, Oprah? I am. I'm having a blast. Oh, nice. I love this city. We have the best city in the, the best world. City. It's I beautiful. Look way. at this. It's a <laughs> I love that kind of excitement. That's well, we did idea. stop at the bar before we came, so. <laughs> hey, by the way, Jody, when you were on the show, we didn't have a teleprompter, but now we do. And the person that runs the teleprompter, Amy Curl, way back there, everybody. Let's hand for Amy. Yeah! 
Pipe down, simmer down. This is Beacon Hill neighborhood, do you mind? This is one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in our city, home to Boston society, the Brahmin. This is where the money is, and where the money is, there is no quacking allowed. So what you're saying is the people here have money? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Help me! Help me, people of Boston! We should all have cans, right? Please like, help me! I need advertisers. Please. Who's the who's the most famous person you've had in a duck door? Um, honestly, I think Jason Veritek is about it. It's Steve Katzos! Oh, sorry. Thank you, Jim. You can keep your job. All right, we're going to get our quack on here. That's how we compete with the other duck drivers, all right? Here we go. Wait for the command. You want to give it, Steve? Great boy, go! Greek boy, go! Yasu! 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 That Johnny knows you. All right, I'm going to sound the horn. You ready? Yeah! Sound the horn, Jody! Yeah! No clapping until I'm sure we're floating. Wait for it. Wait for... Now! Fun! Having, having fun. We have two throwable life rings, one here over my head, one left hand side of the duck on the back, hanging on the outside. We have full radio capability, and in the unlikely event your ass to exit the vessel while we're on the water, you would do so over the sides, not down the ladder. Thank you for joining us at Boston Duck Tours. Cousin Todd's nervous, he put on a life. Filthy. Look at Todd, he put on the life. Oh, he's nervous over there. Woo! Yes! Woo! The beans, the beans. Have you ever uh, run into the sides? No. I am the only, I am in a, I'm going to tell you that I'm the only duck driver at Boston Duck Tours who is actually active duty in the Coast Guard. Yeah! So, Yay! that makes you feel better. So, um, me, better. so, me. All right. We're going to have my dad drive? Yeah. Right. I have to sit there. Okay, you sit there. Drive. Louis, you're going to drive? Oh, 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 no, no, oh, 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 I just wanted to say that. Where is the horn? Where do you think the horn is? Oh, that one or this one? That one. Hit it. Like, you know, like, hit it really, like, hard. Yeah, hit it really hard. Yeah, that's not the horn. It's the horn. <laughs> last driver is going to be an Asian driver, so watch oh, out. No. Asian driver coming through. DWA. Is it true that Chinese drivers are no good? No comment. No comment. Oh. Jo, 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 um, jo. I don't know what that duck is doing, so come around to the right just a little bit. There you go. Be careful, we might end up in Chinatown. <laughs> All right, I do. I want, I want to talk about the vehicle because this is really, this is the fundamental, most important part of our tour. Really, um, you are traveling today aboard a replica of a World War II amphibious vehicle. Uh, up until recently, all of our ducks here at Boston Duck Tours were originals, built between 1942 and 1945. Well, one of my favorite stories I'm going to share with you guys. A family had planned a surprise 50th wedding anniversary gathering for their parents. Their kids flew into Boston from all parts of the country. They sent a limousine up to Maine to pick up their parents to bring them to Boston for a duck tour. So first I invited the wife up. She came up to drive. Super sweet lady. When she was done, I asked her husband if he wanted to drive. He was a little reluctant, but he did come up to drive the duck. While this man was driving my duck, I looked at his face and I could see that he was crying. I asked his son what was going on. His son told me that his daddy had driven one of these vehicles in Normandy during World War II. So can you imagine what it meant for him to be sitting on one of these vehicles again with his wife for 50 years and all his children around him? I tell you this story because for me, it was such an honor to have that family on my tour. And I feel like if I can do anything, it's to remind people these vehicles do mean something very different to our veterans. We made it up, guys. Dad, what do you think of Jody? I, I, Jody is beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we're done with our duck tour here in Boston. Thank you, Jody Sloan. Thank you so much. Thanks to everybody here, guys. I had a great we time had a great time, time, didn't we, everybody? Yeah.
All right, back to the studio we go.